I hesitate immensely to say this, but I think we're back. At least that's the best I can gather based on a director saying that's a wrap on season one at the end of the night last night, which just leaves us with riding bikes and trying not to starve to death. And this being the first vlog of my full-time YouTube career, every decision I've made has been in deliberate tribute to vlogs of the past. From the direction that we're headed in, the bike that we're riding, the jacket that is covering my torso all of which have spent many, many minutes behind the lens of this camera. Not to mention, it's just kind of cool to show how quickly you can go from being like surrounded by trees to the middle of a city like that when you're inside Nova Scotia, HRM more specifically. See? Always terrified of that corner. You never know if there's gonna be a car there. Came over to Halifax for two reasons, each of which I'm not gonna be able to do without this. Thankfully, Angela is working downtown Halifax today. First thing is coffee from a favorite coffee spot. So if I'm honest, this is, uh, this is really bizarre. Being able to vlog during the day, grab coffee and kind of do whatever I want. I've never had this much free time in the last like seven or eight years. To the point that I don't even like really know what to do with it all. I find myself like rushing through every task that I have, trying to just get it done because there's this other thing that I'm supposed to be doing. But like now, this is the thing that I'm supposed to be doing and I don't need to rush it. That'll take time. It'll take a little bit of time. Second task, my new 650B wheels are here and I need a tire for the rear to make it work. So I guess I'm just kind of helping someone here knows a thing or two about tires. So I ultimately decided on the dissector. I kind of knew, kind of knew I wanted to go with this tread based on my research, but what I didn't know was what I wanted to do like casing wise. I'm a little bit sick of getting sidewall slashes and like ruining tires. And what I should have done was wrote down all of the decisions that I had made based on the research that I did, which I didn't do, and I relied hopefully on memory and, and the people working to try and make that decision. I, for the life of me, can't tell if I made the right decision casing-wise or not. I don't know if there's more protection than EXO. I don't know what uh, 3C Max Terra is. I do know what Tubeless Ready is. Anyway, 2.4 dissector. Doesn't feel quite as soft as the Asagai that is on the front now. Should be a good match, I hope. And I hope it lasts until the tread actually wears out and the sidewalls don't get ripped apart by the granite trails that we have here. I'm like dwelling deeper and deeper and deeper into this mountain bike tech world, which is not something that I've ever done before. I don't see it stopping anytime soon, but based on 
the history of this channel and things that we always used to do. I think it's only right for on the way home to do some weird off-road mountain bike single track drop bar stuff with the Ronster Cross. That has, it only has 40 C tires on it now, but still a staple of this channel to be taking place right now. Obviously someone raked out that other part and not this. Whoa. Alright. Interesting. Yep, made it. All good. Hard to see. Got her. So it's when you hit roots or rocks or really any hard obstruction like that, bottoming your tire out on your rim, that you truly begin to appreciate having a tubeless setup. Getting your sidewalls cut out and, and, and you know like punctures and stuff, you know, it really doesn't it really doesn't offer a whole lot in the way of gratification because flats still do happen. But when you can get rid of the potential for snake bite flats, that's a win. That's one of the wins of tubeless. It's not always a win. All right, Dad. Not the correct bike to be hitting jumps on, especially when they're wet and pretty well closed for the season. Fun to try though. Okay, all right, let's uh... Well, that's, that's everything. That's all of the content that I, I feel I can muster up today, just purely based on the absolute mess of ideas and thoughts and things that I want to talk about on this channel that is going through my head right now that could easily create a four hour long video. And I just feel like that would be an insanely irresponsible use of my time and uploads on this channel. And I need to figure out a way to to like organize all those thoughts into content that I want to shoot and upload on a regular basis. This vlog, well, it had to be made because we're back into it. And there always needs to be some sort of creative spark to get things going again. We have been off for 20 or 25 days. So with that all said, what do you want to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm.